Hello everyone and welcome to the Beauty Zone. I'm Felicia. Today's video tutorial is actually on a wig by Janet Collection and her name is Dina. Dina is really really pretty. She is full of curls. She is actually from Janet Collection's whole lace line and this is a number two and the whole lace line is actually um, wigs that are handmade they're hand tied and it is uh, kind of a simulation of lace all the way through the cap so I'm going to show you that in a minute but she is really really pretty this is what they call their premium synthetic fiber so it is not human hair but it looks like human hair and I will start with the back again just full of full of full of spiral curls she is really really pretty and I do mean full I left the lace on just to show you guys this um, their premium line has baby hairs so she has baby hairs in the front right here very natural looking the lace is a softer lace it's not that hard lace so it's in between the hard and the soft soft so um, it is um, just a tad bit stiff but not that hard hard lace I'm going to take her off the head and again she's from the whole lace wig collection on the inside the cap really mimics a full lace wig except their cap is black so this is why I have on the new color wig cap to compensate for that it has a stretchy panel in the center and actually it feels like the whole cap is a stretch but the wig is handmade and it's tied with knots you have in the back they've put lace actually laces from ear to ear on the front and the back you do have a comb in the middle here in the back as well as your adjustable straps in the front you have two combs one on each end of the temples as well as your lace and it looks like there is probably about an inch worth of lace so as I'm looking at it and I don't know if you guys can kind of see through the center part um, here but it's about an inch of lace and again the black material is sheer and I think you guys can see my fingers um, the material is sheer so you are able to part the wig anywhere that you want and there you can see my fingernails so you can part it anywhere you want and I really like these curls the curls are really fabulous let's take a look at the front again in the front we have the baby hairs so the front hairline is pretty cool how they have the baby hairs and I um this is only probably like my second wig I believe that I have that is synthetic that has baby hairs in the front and I like the baby hairs in the front okay let me see if you can curl this it is premium synthetic and I don't see anything or any information here where you can actually curl it so I think this is a non curl wig yeah you cannot curl this so you're just going to wash and wear her but um, she's really really pretty so if you guys will stay tuned to the beauty zone I am actually going to cut the lace and um, we'll get started with the tutorial so we can see what she looks like and uh, I love curly styles like this because you can do so much with them you know from curly updos to a swoop on the side you know to just leaving it down so um, if you guys will stay tuned to the beauty zone I will be right back and we will try Miss Dina on okay stay tuned okay we are back and I just uh, wanted to mention something else one more thing about this lace because I did just finish cutting the lace off and again I really like this lace it is a softer lace um, it's a very good color it is just a light brown but it's soft and um, that's good because I hate when you purchase wigs and I know a lot of uh, you have written me about 
you know what can you do about the lace it's too hard it's cutting into my skin and so on and so forth so you know this is really good that this one will be softer on your hairline and so I've already cut the lace and we're gonna go on and put her on now if you've been watching my YT videos in the past like the other Janet collection videos that I've done which would be the mommy and the Mimi um, you will recall me talking about how small the cap is on the Janet Collection wigs. Well, that was for those two wigs. I tried this one on off camera and it fits really, really good. And again, I consider myself to have a big head. In addition, my hair is cornrowed, it's braided, so that adds extra bulk as well. So I was really happy and pleased when I tried her on and she fit pretty good. All right, so we're going to go on and try her on. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm so excited. It is now spring, so we can uh, actually look forward to the warmer weather. I'm hoping we're finished with the snow at this point. So on the front, there are two combs, but since, and there's like one right here and one right here, but since my hair is braided, that it's you know there's not a possibility for me to really be able to wear those combs so we're just going to pin her down if we need to pin her down I match up my tabs or my sideburns on the side there and I will use the comb in the back and I will tell you this this wig cap is ample it has a lot a lot a lot of room to play with so that is good now, a trick that I use to making the hairline look much more realistic is, of course, I'm going to pull out some of my own natural hairline. But let's pin her first. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> and, of course, along with the warmer weather come the allergies. So, I've been coughing a little bit today. So, hopefully I won't have one of those coughing spells. We have a lot of pollen here in Georgia and it's already starting. Okay, I'm going to use the longer bobby pins. And we'll see how the flesh color cap looks because as you can see, you can see that line right there. So I'm going to try it first and see how it works with it on. I may have to go back to a black cap or just push the cap back all together. We'll see. We'll try it. Because we don't want to see that line there. That is a no-no to see the line. And again, there was lace in the back as well. But of course, I cut that. So it does have lace all the way around. So I'm just going to pull out some of my hair in the front to make it look a little more natural and I'm going to sit her back I do think that I will have to change wig caps <clears throat> either change whip cap, wig caps or push this back because again see that line right there and you don't want to see that so I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to take her off and let's see I'm going to try to push her back and see what that looks like. If that still looks odd, then I'll go with the black cap. Okay, I think I can get away with just that. We're just pushing the cap back. Okay. And when you're trying on your wigs, you know, I, if I'm going to, if I want to wear a wig to work the next day, what I normally do just to test her out is I'll wear her over the weekend and see how, how she works out. And that way you're not testing her out at work where you know the most critical people are, you know, your co-workers or your clients or things like that. So I start trying to wig out Saturday and Sunday and by the time we're ready to roll for Monday for work, I've already tested her out in public. I've already worn her, you know 
a couple of days so I know what's going to work with the wig and I know what's not going to work with the wig. So that's just a little trick that I do or a little tip that I do um, when I first wear my wigs. And that, that works out good. And that way if I need to correct anything as far as my application or the wig cap that I'm using, whatever, I can correct that over the weekend. Now, when I adjust the wig, sometimes, you know, it takes me a little time because I want it to be as natural looking as possible. So, I just pull out a little bit of my hair and then I brush my hair over the wig cap hair or over the hairline of the wig. Okay, this is Dina, and Dina is very, very full. She is um, really sexy, in my opinion, because she has these spiral curls. And she was pretty easy to apply. Now, um, again, all I did was pull out some of my own baby hair. And... Um, with the baby hairs of Dina just kind of blended them in. I just put just a little bit of the edges gel that I mentioned to you guys a while back. Edges and you could pick this up at your local BSS. It's about $15 and just smoothed my edges down just a little bit excuse the pun but that is the name of the product and um, there you have it. I had to push my wig cap back a little bit the knots are smaller in the front of Dina than as you go back. If you see, as you go back, the knots are just a tad bit big. Um, they could have been a little bit smaller, but I think that um, it'll be okay. And again, just a lot, a lot, a lot of curls. She's very full. She shakes. You could pin her up if you like. Have her going a little bit to the side. But of course you would have to cover all of this up because I have my bobby pins showing. But there are a lot of different styles that you could actually do with her. You could just play. I could just like really just play with her all day long. You could do like a little twist in the front. There's a lot of things you could do and I think I'm going to wear her to work this week. You could actually even pull her up in the front if you want it to
And this looks like the type of wig that as it gets older, it's going to look much better. Because again, the curls are going to loosen. When you first take it out of the package though, I've had her for about a week. So once I took her out of the um, box, because she does come in a box, I just placed her on a wig head and um, just let her sit up there for about a week or so. And you just saw the, the curls just slowly, slowly drop. But that makes it look a lot more natural than just taking it out of the box and just slapping it on your head and just wearing it automatically or immediately. Um, I always let my wig sit for a little while. Okay, so that's going to do it guys for Dina I think that you guys should pick her up pick her up and you could pick her up from your local BSS or you could go to Janet Collections website and I'm sure they would be able to tell you guys where you could put pick one up all right I think that's gonna do it for me on today thank you guys for watching the beauty zone and I hope you like this video review of Dina from the Janet Collection whole lace wigs and I will see you very very soon Mwah. Take care. Bye-bye.